Alright, so I'm back for hopefully what is the last follow-up on this DM or excuse me, Game Boy Color IPS kit. Uh, as you can see here, I'm running Link's Awakening DX and the uh, last column here doesn't have that noisy pixel issue. Uh, so you're probably thinking to yourself, gee, Mako, how'd you fix it? Well, oops. Probably has a lot to do with the fact that I'm using a different Game Boy Color PCB. So this is the PCB that I had in here originally. And um, I actually ended up getting a new Game Boy Color very recently. Uh, within the last, I don't know, like actually it was Monday or Tuesday or something. It's Friday for context. Um, anyway, I did end up swapping out the uh, PCB. So what's in this Game Boy Color is a CPU 06 board, whereas this one is a CPU 03 board. Um, but that's... God, I don't know what it is with this screw in this Game Boy Color. It does that every single time. Uh, anyway, I don't know what it is about this specific PCB that uh, doesn't have... You know, why Why does this PCB fix the issue? Why is it a 06 board that's working? Other people have tested this combo out, um, like the Game Boy Discord, whatever, uh, and they've actually had similar experiences. 06 board seems to be the universal board that works. However, in some cases, a 05 board seems to work as well. I don't have any 05s to test either. Uh... But the, the thing is, take a look here. This is a CP, CPU CGB revision E. Some people have tested 05 boards with this same CPU and they've still had the issue. So it's not the CPU, it's something else on this board. Or if it is the CPU, it's a revision that's not marked by a new variant here. So let's get these boards swapped out real quick. Just verify that the old board still does have the issue and the new board does not have the issue. And then once I've got that verified, I've got an idea as to what the culprit may actually be. Don't forget to lock the bail down. I ended up swapping out the PCB on this Game Boy quite a few times. And at one point I forgot to close the bail entirely and I had it closed up and my screen stopped working and I was uh, saying all sorts of horrible things. Horrible things that they don't let you say on Disney Channel. Anyway. That's besides the point, don't you think? So let's try it out. Yes, we want to start Zelda.gb. And as you can see, after swapping this board, I now have the noisy column of pixels. So that's good. That I mean, obviously it's not ideal, but it's good that it's repeatable. So, what we're going to try now, let me go ahead and get this board out of here. I think the issue is with the power supply itself. You know, maybe this revision of board just happens to have a noisy power supply. And the new, uh, newer, 06 variant happened to uh, come with a variant uh, revision of the power supply that fixes that issue. Something that Nintendo never could have predicted, but... You know, maybe there was something else happening on the back end that was messing things up. So, for clarification, this is the board that's noisy. This is the board that works fine. Let's take a look at the power supplies here. You can see that they are very clearly different revisions. Um, I don't know what... Like, I don't know what the specifics are behind either of these, and I'm really hoping that they're just direct swaps. Uh, if not blow one of these boards up probably but I'll burn that bridge when I come to it so let's go ahead and get this 
pulled out. I'm just going to use my horribly disfigured solder sucker. Maybe not. There it goes. I am not having a good time with this thing. It is not. Look at that. The plunger reset and it's still sticking out. This thing's garbage. Don't worry, I've got two. <laughs> it may have been within my best interest to, uh, Add some extra solder to these or something to make this easier. Yeah, let's try that. Because I'm not getting a clean pull. I I could always just cut them and desolder them later. Another tool that would make this easier is if I had an actual desoldering iron. Yeah, I'm no closer. Oh well, keep going. I'll get there eventually. Oh man, I got a good suck on that one. So if you just jiggle these pins, you can see which ones are loose. So this end one is loose, which is good. This one's not. That one I can break loose. That one's not coming. That one's not coming. That one I might be able to break loose. And that one I can probably break loose. Ooh, this is going to take a long time. All right, let's keep going. What the hell? Not getting a good seal. I suppose another option is to just drown this whole thing in solder and do one side at a time. Like just get all three pins wet at the same time and <laughs> pry the board up like that. Okay, I didn't actually expect that to work that easily. So that was surprisingly not completely filled with disaster.
I'll have to straighten these out, but that's okay. Where's my desoldering right there? It is. Nice. All right. Next. To be clear, if this works, I still have no idea what the solution is going to be because there's no place to get any of these power boards except off another Game Boy Color that, well, in that, in that case, just use the Game Boy Color that already works fine, you know? And none of those are loose. Excellent. I'm going to try lifting this thing anyway. One thing I did notice, this particular PCB has uh, regular header pins on here. Like these are just normal 2.54 millimeter headers, whereas this one are these like wraparound pins. I don't know what it is, but it is otherwise the same. Well, let's just keep adding solder. We get a mega big blob on these. Just like that. Aside from burning my fingers, I can uh, melt all three of these at once. Four of these. I swear I can count. It's probably not the solder fumes. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Now this is going to be a pain in the butt. All right, so that's another one out. Oh, that's sticking there.
There we go. Now they're all cleaned up. Just a quick second to clean up my workspace here. The solder. Right, so let's try the 03 board with the 06 power board. And if this works, I am just going to leave this board in this Game Boy Color. It's not ideal, but it's good enough. I will put some effort in cleaning up all that flux, though. All right, let's try it out. Hopefully nothing explodes. Boots, that's a good sign. Moment of truth. Nope, so it's still nice and noisy. So it's not the power supply. Which is good, because I really didn't want to have to swap these again. Okay, so... Flip that off. We're going to try a couple more things here. I'd rather be resolving the issue entirely, not just ruling things out, but at the very least now we know it's not the power supply. Let's double check that by installing my 03 power supply in my 06 board checking the 06 board in here. Now, if this board doesn't work at all, then uh, it still may have been the power supply, which may also be something else.
yeah, this one's still clean. So, still no idea. I'm down to swap more things, I just don't know what else to try swapping. If anyone has any ideas, let me know. The uh, regulator is a new revision, maybe that's it. The amp is the same. Different crystal. And of course there are a few little different things on the surface mount components. And obviously the CPU, but shoot, I don't know. It's got a different electromagnetic filter, but that should have absolutely nothing to do with it, especially since we're not running it off DC power. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess I'll whip out the hot air and try swapping those. See what happens. I'll take a break first, though. Be back in a wee bit. Right, so you'll have to forgive me because I did this off camera, but I didn't really feel like clearing all this stuff out and and or moving the camera over to my stove. But um, I just masked these off with some... Uh, aluminum tape here. It's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. All I want is to make sure that I don't melt these uh, connectors here. And uh, I'd say I did a pretty decent job of that. All right, so I went ahead and pulled off both of the power regulators. Uh, one of them is CGB-REG we can see that and then the other one is CGBREGA so this is a new revision of this part uh, hopefully swapping on the new part to the old board will uh, resolve my issue there so uh, let's, let's try it out shall we Uh, just gotta get it in place. Not doing a very good job of actually getting it in place. There we go. Zoom in, huh? I hope that's facing the right way around. I wasn't paying that much attention to it.
my concern is that there might be some supporting parts to this. I need to lift this up a little bit. Um, like extra capacitors or resistors or something somewhere. Uh, where the hell is my desoldering plate? Right there it is. That I'm uh, not including. That might be necessary or vice versa or something. So that's pretty good. Hopefully I didn't break anything. Let's try it out. Still boots, so far at least. No, we won't back up that safe. Ah, darn it. Jesus. Well. Shoot, I don't know what else it could be then. Out of sheer curiosity, let's try the other board without, even without a regulator. Let's see what happens. Because if this part does what I think it does, which I'm pretty sure it does, otherwise I wouldn't think it did. Um, this is the screen regulator to generate the weird voltages that the OEM screen uses, um, like negative 19 volts or whatever the hell that is. So if that is, uh, that's accurate or not, I'm sorry, not specifically negative 19 volts, but it conditions the negative 19 volts to something that the screen is happy with so that when you adjust this, uh, potentiometer here, it slightly tweaks the voltages going to the screen itself. So if that is the case, this part does nothing with the IPS screen anyway. And to be frank, that's probably what I should have checked first. Again, there's no regulator on this one. Hopefully nothing blows up. Yeah, see? That's what I thought. That was a waste of time. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I 
And just for uh, shits and giggles here. An OEM screen. And this shouldn't work at all. Yeah, nothing. You can see it just goes black. Without that extra regulator, OEM screen doesn't work, but that's fine. We don't really care about that. All right, so uh, I'm out of ideas besides just starting to swap things randomly. If anyone has any suggestions, I am all ears.